so it is beautiful weather outside and I thought we'd have a barbecue at the weekend um, and maybe a picnic as well and what is better than having lovely cold meats or a really nice burger and sausages and some coleslaw that you can have with it. Well you don't have to say no to the coleslaw, you can simply make your own slimming world friendly coleslaw that is going to cost you two sins okay two sins nothing and that's for the whole lot so I've done a little bit of preparation so you're not just watching me chop vegetables um and yes i did chop these and um, i've got two carrots in there okay so i've got a lovely big bowl you know what i'm like when i spill things over the edge i've got a nice big bowl and to that big bowl i have chopped up some red cabbage i couldn't get white cabbage so I thought, why not? So I've got some red cabbage there. So I'm going to give that a really good mix so that everything is in it. And this makes a real nice um, portion. And then to spice things up, um, I um, use red and one red onion, one white onion. I love onion. You might not like that much. They weren't particularly big, but um, fair size. And I love onion. So I'm going to give that a real good mixing. So you can see there that it's giving you um, that lovely slaw look. Um, but what we really would love to concentrate on is obviously the, um, the flavour of the sauce. Now, do you know what? I'll put that aside. I could turn around and say we're not using mayonnaise. Well, we are because there's nothing better than that nice twang that the mayonnaise brings along. I've just grabbed this out of my fridge. And as you can see, there's hardly any there. I'm going to do what I can with what I've got. So I've got some lighter than light mayonnaise, which is half a sim, one level tablespoon. I've got some quark, and I'm going to use two tablespoons of this. It doesn't matter whether it's level or not, because quark is free. And then I've got some lemon juice as well. Um, so, measuring spoon. Really, really important when we're adding our sins to weigh and measure. So I'm going to bring my bowl back in. And as you can see, it's not going to look like a lot when you first put it in. But when you mix it together, it really does coat everything. So here goes. So that's a table. Oh, see, I told you. We, use, we don't use loads of this in the house, but... Um, we obviously use it instead of normal. So it is really, really a good um, mayonnaise to get. It's got that lovely flavour. So that's one. And then I'm going to put down... Um, those measuring spoons. I'm just going to open it up. Oh, really has hardly got any in it. So I think we're looking at about two there. And I am roughly guessing. Um, and that is because there is nothing in there. So it's still going to give it that really nice twang, the twang that comes from the mayonnaise. Um, and obviously, a little bit of a tip from me, check you've got your ingredients first. So then I've got my quark. Now I love quark, it's one of my favourite things, so versatile. So um, I'm going to grab my measuring spoon, I don't really need, but just to give me a nice rough idea. So I'm going to really overload it a little bit because I know that I haven't got enough mayonnaise in there. So there we go. Got it down me. Should have had my apron on. Um, and then I'm going to add some lemon juice. So I'm going to give it a real good squirt because I like it nice and tart. Um, so and then I'm going to give that a really nice mix up. And what you'll find is that the, um, the lemon juice makes it really go far. And it sort of, it thins out the mixture. So you've got that lovely mayonnaise -y. Oh! escaping i said i had a big enough bowl and look what happened so give it a real good mix and you're gonna think oh there's not enough there i can't see it but do you know what once you start mixing them clumps are gonna get really covering all those grated carrots and thinly sliced pepper and the onions in there as well and do you know what a slaw is just so adaptable you can have it with absolutely everything i love it on a jacket potato um that is perfect i can really smell that mayonnaise and i can really i don't know if i needed um two four four um, tablespoons to be fair 
Um, but yeah, I mean, that looks absolutely, I think you'll agree with me, perfect for when you've got those guests coming around and you've got a barbecue lo looming. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab myself a fork and I am going to taste it because obviously it is all in the taste test. So I'm going to get myself a bit of carrot, a bit of onion and a bit of, um, a bit of the cabbage on there and... Mm. and taste the lemon juice um i can taste the mayonnaise and that is the most important thing so there you go a lovely crunchy slimming well friendly coleslaw 